Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Doing the Forza Horizon 3 Let's Play here, but um, this time they added a new bar find with the new update. You don't have to purchase anything to get this barn find, I'm pretty sure. Because um, I don't have the car pack. So, Well, this is exactly where it's at because I've already found it. So we're going to go ahead and try it there. at your destination. Alright. I knew we'd find it. We always do. Whoa, cool! It's a Volvo, but what a Volvo. Front engine, rear drive sports car. And if it's the one I think it is, it's famous. Come on, let's get it out of here. It looks like Machine Gun Kelly got a hold of that side of that car. Or was involved in a drive-by. See how bullet holes in it? Go away! Go away! I can't work with you watching! Okay, we're gonna go ahead and... We're gonna restore it for him, so we don't have to wait. We're gonna go ahead and get a... Look at it, what it looks like when it's done, and how it looks when it's upgraded. A little bit different than the other episodes I've done. I'll call you when it's ready. No, we won't. Hopefully it's not over three million dollars, but... It is. It's fine, I guess. There it is. Volvo 1800E. Fuel injected engine, 130 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 9.6 seconds. Oh, and it's the car Roger Moore drove in the Saint. Yep, you heard that right. Cool. Alright. Let's get in the car and let's put some upgrades on it and see what it'll do. Yes, yes, I know. Okay. Ooh, that hurts it. Let's not do that. And let's put a turbo on it. We're still a D, which is shocking. Could put rally tires on it. But we'll put race tires on it. We'll make them wide. We're at A now. Let's put some wheels on it. Get it a little bit lighter. What looks good on this car? Hmm. So many to pick from. That doesn't look too bad. We'll go with that. Should I increase the wheel size? Well, we can go up high. 20s? Uh, no, that doesn't look right. But... Go at 16s. Now, it's going to be a little bit heavier since I increased that weight size, but... Let's... See what the stats are of it when it's completely upgraded. See if it's a worthy car, I guess you could say. Well, lowers it quite a bit. Sure, by tuning it, I could lower it more, but I don't know if I want to do that. Oh. First time I've seen where the stats go up that much on a roll cage. Okay. Max out the motor. Now we're an S. I don't think it'll make it to an S2 class. I, I doubt it. But, I mean, there is a possibility of that. Just go all down through here, max it out. We're at 853. I'm thinking about doing something, messing with something to see if it'll change it. Okay, now let's mess with, let's try a conversion. 
Oh wow, look at that. Okay, now let's go back to the drivetrain. Now we're at 881. Okay, now let's go over here. Wow, that, that's, that does some good there. Oh, that hurts the speed. We don't want to do that. That exhaust looks strange. But. Okay, so I think that's about it. So it's S1882, it's got 761 horsepower and weighs 2,558 horsepower. So <clears throat> I wonder how many pounds of torque it has. We're about to find out. Go into here. Actually, I can't leave it like that. Or can I? It's got 551 foot pounds of torque. All right. So let's let's see how it drives. Can't hurt, right? Pretty fast. take it to a better place. Let's let's go over here with it and uh, see see what kind of speed I can set from right here all the way down or from the beginning of the runway to the end. Let's just give it a It might be a worthy drag car. It's a possibility. miles an hour and you just move on fine. It's not bad. It has a pretty good acceleration. It's really upgraded. There it goes. Go drift. That's some slottage. Oh I mean pretty good barn plant. Could be used as a good all around car. <laughs> pretty good car. The handles pretty good stuff. So. Alright, well, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe for more. And I will catch you on the next one. Alright, later.